For one more day, Alex, the heat may still be okay. here in the Mid-South, but the fall months are here. And with that being said, you may need to refresh your grocery list. It is that time, and a great way to do just that is to start with a brand new recipe. Franco can tell you. Oh, he's everybody. here, turning it up. Oh, ready, Franco, welcome back. Thank so you good to so see much. You. Really a pleasure to see you guys. You are not wasting any time over here. No, what are you serving up this time? So, so, Todd was just talking about having, you know, making a lasagna filling, right? Okay. Which is exactly the same thing that you do with to put into shells, to put into cannelloni, to put into manicotti. This filling is exactly the same, and it is on our website, and I think it's on your yours okay. as well, too. Simple ricotta cheese, a little bit of eggs. You got some garlic in there, uh, salt, pepper, and and uh, just a Wait, touch of pepper. a little bit of garlic. I'm yeah. pretty sure there's a lot of garlic in so, there. Somewhere. So if you mince the garlic, you get a lot of flavor. So you right. don't need a lot of garlic, right? Oh, that's just, interesting. You don't okay. want to you don't want to get it minced for all the time. But yes. one little clove, a little bit of mince, you're in business. That's all it takes. That's all it is. And so this wow. is it, nice and creamy. You fill those up, you're good to go. So, but you do the same filling with uh, uh, ravioli as well. Right. So here's what we've got for I you love today. That white cheese. Look at that. Now this is the finished product for the shells, which you see right over here. Okay. Right. Same filling, same everything is in there. But this is ravioli with a gorgonzola cream sauce. Mm. 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 And we're you know, gorgonzola had it like a bad name for a long time, but it is really, really terrific. Oh, it's marvelous. And I got to tell you something, it's just too much sometimes. You put too much into it, it doesn't taste <laughs> it's good. It's right? too much sometimes. So just a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with this. A little bit of pepper on this thing. No, oh, we're going to wow. finish this off. So, Franco, as you do that, how do you come up with all these recipes? Here? Well, we spend a lot of time in Italy. And, and you know, there's always innovation. There's things that are happening in Italy that... You know, we always think of, of Italian cooking as sort of classic Italian cooking. Sure. It's always the same. It's right. not. It's innovative. It's bright. There's a lot of new things that are coming along. It's not new ingredients, right? Just different ways of putting these things together. So okay. it's not just grandma's cookbook that you found no, in the back of the shelf. No, that tends to be Italian-American cooking. <laughs> we don't want that. So this is Italian cooking. It tends to be simple, as we talked about before. Yes. For me, five ingredients or less. Easy stuff. Now you got a great meal. So for this dish, again, simple stuff. We're talking about three or four different items in the in the ricotta filling. Get your pasta, and then it finishes off with the, the walnut. Franco, your your own history though. How did cooking come about for you? So I started uh, putting together restaurant businesses and, and things of that nature. And one of the things that we developed was an Italian restaurant theme uh, franchise operation. So my problem with that was, how do you tell somebody? that you're an authentic Italian restaurant. If yeah. you've never eaten in Italy, yeah. you've never cooked in Italy. Very true. So I would take the people over to Italy and show them how to cook in Italy oh. so that they could say, look, I made this. Here, yes. Right? Yeah. So now that's sort of evolved into our cooking vacations and some cooking of the other things. Cooking vacations, Todd, I'd like the sound. That has that. to be an eye opening experience for those that for might too. have cooked here yeah. and then hadn't even thought about that. Well, there, it, 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 there's such a difference in the, in the way we, uh, Italians cook versus the way Italian American cook. Mm -hmm. Now, great restaurants throughout the country, and they'll stay very dedicated to uh, authentic Italian cooking. But again, remember, authentic Italian cooking doesn't mean. You know, uh, grandma, <laughs> grandma sauce, or we grandma's you, gravy. Okay. Not necessarily that type of thing. It's these types of items that you're going to taste. When I first had this gorgonzola, I did it. I had it in a gnocchi in Florence. Okay. Oh, it knocked me out, and so we recreated it here. Just how they don't mind you like I don't want to use the word stealing. You don't. They don't mind you saying, "Can I borrow this recipe?" Let me tell you how this works. Okay? <laughs> how does this work? So, how much did if it we go into a restaurant here and you go, "I really like these hush puppies," yes. and you say to them, "Could I have your recipe?" The guy goes, "Yeah, I'll give it to you, but I'm going to kill you." In Italy, you go. I go behind the counter. I go into the kitchen. Show me how to make this. Going, Come on, we're going to show you. Oh, that is fantastic! Wow. Oh man. Yeah. So, so many of the recipes that I've learned. Yeah. It, just that way, walk into a restaurant, taste something. You're knocked over by mm, it, right? right? And then you go into the kitchen and ask them. They are probably it. honored that and you they, want to they come. Are, they have to they be. share. They, have to they be. love to share it. So, for my way of cooking as well, I love to share it. I'm going to share, share a recipe with you, but we love to share all of this stuff. Learn how to cook, eat. You got it. to, Franco. What about in your own kitchen at home? Do you lay it out like this? Is it? Just that simple, yeah. or yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is, <laughs> including the wine. So we got a dust, we, we got start a with the wine. Of Mesa here too. It goes really well with this one here. Uh -huh. But yeah, exactly. You know, it's uh, it's it has to be appealing. It has to be enjoyable. You know, I think people tend to 
look at cooking as some, sometimes it's work, right? No, I got to clean up afterwards or whatever. Well, I clean it up. Leave it alone. I take care of it. I like that. Mm. I, so could the you whole imagine process. how much fun it would be to be in the kitchen with him while he's cooking? <laughs> I'm ready for Franco to take yeah. us to Italy with him. That's right. <laughs> we We're need ready. to make this We're happen. Ready. If Mary Beth was here, she'd already be eating over here, and then she'd just have her mouth full. <laughs> so we're going to have to take up for Mary Beth. We will do well, it now. Well, this is all for you guys. That's right. To Frank, we're glad to have you back. Thank we're you so the information much. information on the screen. Nice. Always good to see you, Thank my friend. You. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a short break. More live at 9 in just a moment.